Welcome to Animal Stories for Kids. If you like our stories, please give us a five-star rating, subscribe to our podcast, and share it with your friends and family. If you're listening on Spotify, you can support the podcast through listener support. Plus, check out exclusive show-related content and join the community at patreon.com slash animal stories for kids. And now, it's time for our story. Once upon a time, there was an African gray parrot named Jabari. Jabari the African gray parrot was an older parrot that lived in a forest, and he was a very wise and intelligent bird. The other animals in the forest all knew Jabari not only for his gray feathers and bright red tail, but they knew Jabari the African gray parrot as the one that all the animals went to for help if they were facing any challenges. Jabari the African Grey Parrot lived in the tall trees where he could see everything happening in the forest. He spent most of his days perched up on a tree watching all the animals go by and live their lives. And he really liked copying the sounds of all the animals in the forest as well. But he really enjoyed helping other animals with any problems that had to be solved. On one sunny morning, a little monkey swung by, looking worried. Jabari! Jabari! I need your help! The monkey shouted, while hopping from branch to branch getting closer to Jabari. What seems to be the problem? Jabari the African Grey Parrot asked, tilting his head curiously. I lost my banana! I was saving it for later, and now I can't find it anymore! The monkey explained, almost in tears. Jabari thought for a moment. One thing that all the animals knew was that Jabari the African Grey Parrot had an excellent memory. So asking Jabari to help was always the best thing for the other animals to do because they all knew that Jabari was watching all the animals in the forest all day. Jabari thought about it for a moment. He had actually seen the monkey swinging around earlier and he had an idea where that banana might be. Don't worry, let's retrace your steps, Jabari the African Grey Parrot suggested. Together, they went back to all the places the monkey had visited that morning. First, they checked near the water hole that the monkey was playing around, but nothing. Then they checked by a huge tree the monkey was resting in, but still nothing. And even the grassy patch where the monkey liked to nap but they found no banana there either. Jabari remembered seeing the monkey by a big rock earlier too. And so he told the monkey, Hey, weren't you hanging out by the big rock as well earlier? The monkey said, Yeah, you're right. Do you think my banana might be there? Jabari the African Grey Parrot said, I think it's worth a shot. So Jabari and the monkey went to the big rock where the monkey was hanging out around earlier, and they looked around. And then, they found the banana, hidden under some leaves near the big rock. Here it is, Jabari squawked joyfully. Thank you so much, Jabari. You're the best. You have a great memory, the monkey said, hugging his banana tightly. That's why all the animals come to me when they need help said Jabari. As the monkey scampered off happily, Jabari heard a commotion. This time, he saw an elephant family and it looked like they had a big problem. As Jabari flew closer to the elephants, he came near them and found out that the youngest elephant, a calf, had gotten separated from his family while they were looking for water. The mother elephant was very worried. Please, Jabari. Can you help us find our calf? The mother elephant asked with tears in her eyes. Jabari flapped his wings and nodded. Of course, let's go find your little one. Jabari soared high above the forest, using his great eyesight to scan the whole area. But Jabari the African Grey Parrot was also really good at copying sounds. So Jabari decided to use his skill to call out for the elephant calf. As the mother elephant 
trumpeted for her calf. Jabari kept listening to the trumpet call from the mother, and he started to mimic it to help look for the calf. And after a few moments of flying over the forest and calling out to the elephant calf the same way the mother elephant was trumpeting for her calf, Jabari heard a faint trumpet-like sound in response. It was the baby calf. It had wandered off to a clearing near the edge of the forest. So Jabari the African gray parrot quickly flew back to the mother and the other elephants and said to them, I found the baby. Follow me. The elephant family all followed Jabari through the forest. The mother was so worried that she ran the fastest and even went ahead of Jabari for a moment. And when they reached the clearing, they saw the elephant calf looking scared but unharmed. Mama! The elephant calf cried while running to the mother. The mother wrapped her trunk around her calf and held it close to her. Oh, my little calf, I'm so glad you're safe. The other elephants cheered and trumpeted in joy. They thanked Jabari over and over again for his help. We couldn't have done it without you, Jabari, the mother said gratefully. Jabari replied, saying, I'm just happy to help. Family is so important. The elephants invited Jabari to join them for a special celebration that evening. They wanted to show their gratitude by sharing a feast of delicious fruits and leaves. Jabari the African Grey Parrot celebrated with the elephants on finding the lost calf. And as the sun set over the forest, Jabari and the elephant family laughed, shared stories, and enjoyed the food together. Jabari loved helping his friends, and it made him feel like he was part of their family too. And as the stars started to twinkle in the night sky, Jabari the African Grey Parrot perched on a high branch, looking down at the elephants sleeping peacefully and safely with the baby calf cuddled up to the mother. And Jabari knew that as long as he was around, his friends would always have someone to run to for help. And all the animals in the forest heard of what happened and how Jabari helped the monkey and the elephants that day. And all the animals in the forest knew they could count on Jabari, whether it was finding a lost banana or reuniting a family. Jabari was always there with his wisdom and his kindness. And the African gray parrot lived happily ever after. The End The African gray parrot is also known as the gray parrot, the Congo gray parrot, the Congo African gray parrot, or even sometimes known as African greys. The African gray parrot is a medium-sized bird known for their distinct look and remarkable intelligence. They have smooth, sleek gray feathers with a bright red tail that makes them stand out. Their eyes are typically yellow or gray, and they're very curious and alert. The head and wings are usually darker than the body, and the feathers on the head and body have white edges. They have strong, curved beaks that they use for cracking nuts and seeds, and their feet are perfectly designed for climbing and gripping. The African Gray Parrot can be from 12 to 14 inches long. The African Gray Parrot can be found in forests, rainforests, savannas, mangroves, and gardens, and can be found in the wild in West and Central Africa. The African Gray Parrot prefers to nest in tall trees, and they enjoy eating seeds, nuts, fruits, and berries. The African Gray Parrot is known for living a long time. They can typically live from 40 to 60 years old, and with proper care, some can live up to 70 years old. The African Gray Parrot is known to be one of the most intelligent animals in the world. They have excellent memory and can remember people and places for many years. And just as other parrots, they can mimic a wide range of sounds, including animal noises and human noises. 
the African gray parrot is able to use simple tools like sticks to help them get their food. And the African gray parrot can be very sensitive to emotions of their human companions and other parrots. African gray parrots are very intelligent, and many have been shown to perform tasks at the intelligence level of a four to six-year-old human. Some experiments have shown that they can learn number sequences and to connect human voices with their faces. Some have observed African gray parrots using English words to create new words for objects that the bird doesn't know a name of. For example, one African gray parrot was observed to use a made-up word, banary, to describe an apple, which it combined the words banana and cherry and was trying to figure out what to call an apple. Other studies showed that African gray parrots can learn more than a hundred words with understanding differences between objects, colors, shapes, and materials. Have you seen a real-life African gray parrot before? If you have, where did you see it? If you want to write to us, ask your parent to email us at animalstoriesforkids at gmail.com and tell us what you think of our stories. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for listening to Animal Stories for Kids. If you like our stories, please give us a five-star rating, subscribe to our podcast, and share it with your friends and family. If you're listening on Spotify, you can support the podcast through listener support. Plus, check out exclusive show-related content and join the community at patreon.com slash animalstoriesforkids. Until next time, bye!